Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Aries monthly overview for December. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies here with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. We're going to dive in a little bit deeper with the Psychic Tarot deck here. We're going to clarify with the traditional deck, and then I'll pull a few Oracle cards at the end. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining. So let's see here, Aries, what we can see for you guys for December 2020. Please and thank you. Spirit, what is the most important message here for Aries? Moving forward for December 2020, please and thank you. mending this is talking about reconciliation there's something here that's faded there's something here that's coming back around now this could be a reconciliation of a friendship or of a um disconnected family member there's a need to stay present try to stay balanced stay focused on your vision but be open to the possibility, the possibilities, be open to the opportunities that are coming your way. I also feel like this is a very faded event that's coming around, so be prepared. It could sweep you off your feet. It could be very unexpected. Now again, this could resonate in many different areas, so let's take a little bit deeper look. This could be could be a friend, a family member that's very well, could be a love interest. Most important message here for Aries Spirit, what does Aries need to see for the month of December 2020? Please and thank you. Please keep in mind guys, the message is here on YouTuber General. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, the decks that we use within the spreads here, any useful information is all linked below in the description box. And Aries, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome here. It does help set your intentions for future messages. Six of Swords energy is the underlying... This could also be moving into a calmer water. So again, coming to a common ground with a person is the sense that I'm getting here. The energy surrounding you this month is the Two of Cups, spiritual union. The energy in love is the temperance, balance in this deck. The energy in money, the hanged man, sacrifice challenge what you need to let go of is this mental conflict what's working what you need to hold on to is something has ended here okay so what i see here aries is you need to move forward you need to move forward from whatever it is that went on in the past that way of being that way of thinking has has been transformed is what i see here so when the tower and we're going to clarify all of this in a minute but when the tower is in a position of what you need to hold on to 
it's a positive thing. The energy surrounding you this month is spiritual union. This is two of cups energy. Okay. It's almost as if this is twin flame soulmate energy coming through. Now for a very select few of you, this will be this will resonate as twin flame energy. But I do definitely get like a soul tie connection. Okay. Please clarify the two of cups here for Aries. Please and thank you. Hierophant with the Two of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles on the bottom here. So, what I see is somebody wants to take a connection to a higher level of commitment. And there's another person that's withholding their energy here. What I also get from this is be very practical and how you proceed as well as focusing on balance you know what makes you feel good what makes you feel positive uplifted but also makes sense okay is in alignment with where you see yourself headed i always always will talk about on this channel if a connection feels strong there's a strong soul tie there but there's a lot of in and out. There's a lot of toxic behavior patterns. There's something significant still to learn from that connection, but it's not meant for you to stay in that connection because it's going to tear you up. Um, it's going to cause a lot of turmoil within. Okay. You're needing here to focus on the balance. Okay. This is temperance energy. So this also can talk about um having patience with the process actually excuse me this is justice this is justice energy let's clarify this justice energy for aries please and thank you so something is balancing itself out i do feel an energy of somebody has gone through a transformation but this wasn't something that they wanted to go through okay so what I see here, Aries, and this can go either way, but I feel like this is resonating as your other, per your person, okay? Your person probably was very toxic, um, had a lot of toxic behavior patterns, things that they weren't aware of and that they may have even denied that they, you know, I'm not like that, that's not me. I feel here something happened in their life that, forced them it's like a forced transformation it was definitely very faded now understand they're probably coming back as the wounded warrior so don't be too harsh on your words but still stand your ground okay still stand your ground so have an understanding there is a deep connection here two of cups is coming out in two different decks Okay, there's also um, the mending card, which is a reconciliation. But if this person hasn't completely healed from this transformation, then it could cause a lot of turmoil for you as well. In the position of money, the energy surrounding you in money and business, career, finances, sacrifice. This is the hanged man energy. So let's clarify this hanged man energy for Aries, please and thank you. A lot of waiting. Things could be at a standstill right now. Obviously, with everything going on, things aren't moving forward very quickly feel like you feel like your hands are tied here in business and career and finances what I recommend is maybe even picking up um, a part-time gig or something where you can make extra money on the side is going to be beneficial 
but try to have an understanding that if you can hold on, if you can push forward, that things are going to turn. Things are going to turn around, okay? Um, so just picking up slack where you can right now is going to be important. Obviously, it's the month of December, so everybody's feeling um, heavy burdens with strapped for cash type of energy, okay? Things are going to be looking up moving forward. What you need to let go of here is the Two of Swords. I feel like this is indecisive. For some of you, you feel a deep connection with a person and this person keeps coming back or trying to come back into your life and you resist this connection. Maybe you feel like they're still in the same energy that they were before. Um, and they very well could have been. But you're going to understand, you're going to have an understanding of when it's time to move forward. Okay. I also feel like this person is still going through a healing process, but keeping them at a distance is only going to hinder the process. Keeping that at a distance is a form of being mentally conflicted, okay? There needs to be an expression why things are the way they are. And then allow this person to either come forward and express themselves equally and you hear them out. You have to make a decision. Are you going to be friends with this person still? Or are you going to reconcile in some way shape or form this doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are going to come back together and live happily ever after maybe you guys are just come back together as friends but having that level of release letting go of the past being on a common ground is what this reading is all about not necessarily mending the fences and getting back to how it used to be because i feel here this is never going to be like it used to be Things have changed for the better, but you're not going to have an understanding of that if you don't give this a chance. For some of you, there has been a lot of water under the bridge. You are going to be a little standoffish. Express that to this person, you know, like, hey, I do want to see where things can go. I do believe you that you have changed, but... I'm still a little skeptical because of how things played out in the past. It's okay. That's okay to be in that position. That's understandable. But being able to express yourself is going to be important because if not, it'll come off as this indecisive energy. Even if that isn't your intention. What to hold on to is the ending, okay? How this ended or this has taken place, right? The foundation has been leveled. The past has ended. It's almost like needing to release it. What's done is done. What's done is done. It's time to move forward. I feel like there has been a major transformation, but there's still this holding on to the past. And needing to release it. Now again, the energy can be resonant either way. Okay, so this can be for your energy. This can be for your person's energy. The sun is going to come out after you're able to let this go. Or after they're able to let this go. And again, having an understanding for some of you. This is going to be like a soulmate union coming back together. For others of you, this is going to resonate as moving forward as friends. However, I do see there is something that you guys are going to be able to help each other with, help each other heal, something along those lines moving forward. Please clarify the chariot energy as the advice, guidance moving forward. For Aries, please and thank you. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended, we will take a look into what's next. It's coming in for you. 
moving forward into the next month. We will also see if there's anything hidden that you need to be made aware of. What a resolution to this challenge, right? How to let go of this conflicted energy. And then the outcome, if the advice is followed. I'll also pull a few different oracle cards over there. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. The links are all below. Six of Wands, Star. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Underneath the deck is the Six of Swords. So, definitely healing, moving forward, trying to stay grounded, trying to stay focused on your own stability because there's going to be some heavy energy within business, finance, career that everybody's going to be moving through within the next coming months, okay? Things are going to pan out. Things are going to work out. Just stay focused with your eye on the prize and right now do what you can, where you can, when you can. Okay, um, there are some things that you're going to have to work through this month. There may be somebody from your past coming back that's trying to mend the fences and you're going to have to decide, Aries, what position that you want to be in with this person and you don't have to, you don't have to let this connection go so abrasively. Even just simply speaking like I was hurt from you in the past and I'm not sure if I'm ready to trust yet even something as simple as that can really really stick it to somebody okay so understand this is definitely moving forward we have six of swords coming out twice we have death energy coming out twice so things are changing things are moving forward things are going to start looking up making it through this December into January it's going to be important for you Aries okay so meditation being grounded um, getting out into nature when you can because it's freaking cold outside um, will be important for you okay so let's get your native spirit oracle card for December 2020. If you guys have found that this message has been helpful, it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Ancient forest. This card talks about getting in tune with nature. Ground, being grounded, okay? So if you can't go outside, really quickly guys, one way to get grounded if you can't go outside is find a nature tune, like a running stream or running water on your phone. You can find it on YouTube, okay? Play that tone very subtly. Don't have it too loud, okay? Because you're trying to trick your subconscious. Then I want you to be barefoot. And I want you to have it in like a place where there's linoleum if you can. So in your bathroom, in your kitchen are ideal locations because it's normally, because it's a lot of water in those areas, they have it um, linoleum or some form of that, okay? Be barefoot, no socks, no shoes, okay? And then close your eyes, listen to that tone, and run the water over your hands, okay? Wash your hands if you need to. Washing your hands is beautiful right now, right? But I want you to do that for at least three to five minutes. So washing your hands is probably not gonna be ideal the entire time because you will have very dry skin. However, it's going to trick your subconscious into being grounded, okay? It's like getting in tune with nature subconsciously without actually being there. Another way to get grounded is to imagine a white light going all the way through your chakra points to the ground up into the sky. 
to the from the ground up okay and just imagine yourself being rooted being grounded in the earth okay this card talks about healing needing to heal don't doubt yourself don't doubt the path that you're on okay now is a time of rest and rejuvenation so the soul journey message that comes with this card is throughout the world indigenous cultures revere what is called the tree people the powerful life force of trees can bring healing strengthening and grounding energies the kind of tree might vary from culture to culture but the reverence and gratitude for its beneficial energies are the same the ancient forest is alive with nature's spirits additionally each tree has an individual spirit especially powerful and resilient the forest can survive the harshest conditions because of the mutual support of the spirit of the entire forest your greatest strength is silent and deep it doesn't need to show of force it just is and her power is found through contemplation reflection and meditation sometimes it comes from times of growth and change other times it springs from surviving and conquering painful situations definitely a heavy energy here aries of being grounded healing taking time for yourself in the month of december be practical about any decision even if it's the littlest decision you know practice makes perfect so practicing that decision making process of being practical is going to be important instead of living by the seat of your pants which is easy for a fire sign okay but sometimes it's it's important to be grounded in the decisions that we make so even when it's like being frugal with your money or um what path you need to take home from work can all be important strategic decisions that will help you to practice being practical let's get this power thought card for you aries my thoughts are creative i say out with every negative thought that comes to my mind no person place or thing has any power over me for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. Beautiful Aries. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so, so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.